Howard Webb, the referee, leads the two teams out for their 34th Premiership match of a 38-game season. And it's a game that is absolutely crucial for their different ambitions. Middlesbrough still with a chance, and they still should qualify for Europe. West Bromwich Albion will be delighted just to finish in the top 17 of the Premiership table. In seven years as borough manager, Robson led the club to two promotions and appearance in the final of each of the cup competitions. But there's no case of mixed loyalties today. Pilloried in the official match programme, Robson returns to the Riverside with a point to prove and three points to win. Good to see that he gets an ovation that his efforts here on Teesside deserve that. Well, he deserves that, you know, really was a popular figure. Came here at the end of his career, played and got this uh, club not only promoted but uh, was a really really important part in this new stadium here the Riverside Stadium plus the fantastic training facility that they have at Herworth near Darlington he was the man that led Middlesbrough into the Premiership today Brian Robson returns hoping to keep West Brom there it's Robson's first Riverside return since being dismissed nearly four years ago and aiding his own cause will damage that of his former club as they aim for Europe. No harm done for Middlesbrough. Boateng, defended by Robinson, and breaks for Rob Earnshaw. The Reavers snapping at his heels. The referee thought there was a foul, but Chaplow's in possession, so play goes on with Campbell! And that was close, it's deflected away for a corner. You'll probably find this is a terrific save from Brad Jones, but have a look at the touch here of Kevin Campbell. And this ball comes into the box from Chaplow. Absolutely immaculate the way he takes him past one defender, strikes on goal. That is a very crucial save from Brad Jones because that looked as if it was going to nestle into the core of the net. Captain, so they can they can knock balls in and try and test out Southgate with the pace of Earnshaw. Like now, for instance, here is Earnshaw, and it's a great save by Jones who commanded his penalty area superbly. Ekiog eventually clears his lines, but that the clearest opportunity for either side so far. That's exactly what I was talking about. That space in behind, and Earnshaw will exploit that. And he's very unfortunate here. And once again, Brad Jones has made a fantastic save. He makes himself as big as he possibly can. West Bromwich Albion so far in this first half. And uh, a mixture of uh, some good defending, some good goalkeeping. Has kept them out. Now Zenden through. Hasselbank. Russell Holt with an important save. Out as far as Shillard Nemeth. He gets a shot in as well. Holt unsighted. And Middlesbrough lead by a goal to nil. And how significant a goal is that going to be? Season. Well, it was very messy, wasn't it, as far as West Bromwich Albion are concerned. They thought they got away with it, but the first one from Hasselbank was saved. There's a lot of bodies here between Nemeth and the goalkeeper, and fortunately for Nemeth, it goes through the legs of Thomas Gard, so and really Russell Holt's got no chance to make a save there. He doesn't particularly strike it with any real venom, but uh, it was about accuracy. Slam Manchester United in their final quartet of games. Makes this one so important. Here's Nemeth again. And again, he's got onto his left foot. Pulls it back. Oh, Holt has tipped it into his own net. The goal will be claimed by Hasselbank. But it's an absolute tragedy for Russell Holt. The cross from Nemeth. And Holt did all the hard work for Middlesbrough. Well, they look very flimsy defensively. That's far too easy. The little knockdown from Jimmy Floyd Hasselbank. Unopposed. And then this run into the box from Nemeth. Russell Holt, what he tries to do, Jim, is he tries to read the cross that Nemeth is trying to play to Jimmy Floyd Hasselbank. And Nemeth, ball into the danger area, really catches him out. And there's that deflection. Is it over the line? Well, Jimmy Floyd Hasselbank makes sure it is. And uh, full credit to Nemeth. He's certainly got the confidence from the goal that he scored earlier. And uh, the way he went past the defender. And I'm sure they've, uh, they've played a lot better on many other occasions and not had the reward of goals. Hasselbank. Hasselbank again, saved by Holt, and it's in for three! And Shilard Nemeth, who has gone eight months without scoring a goal, has two inside quarter of an hour. Middlesbrough three, West Bromwich Albion nil, and if ever a scoreline didn't paint a picture, then it's this one. Well, oh, Shilard Nemeth, I can't believe he's not really. You know, he scored a couple of goals, he had a hand in the other one. But again, the amount of time and room that these Middlesbrough strikers are getting is absolutely embarrassing. And that really will be infuriating to Brian Robson and Nigel Pearson. 
because, you know, they've worked so hard to stay in this division and they've done it on the back of being nice and solid at the back and then all that has gone out of the window here in this first half. Chaplow. More work. It's a good ball in for Cardo. And another vital save from Jones. Every time West Brom have got themselves into a good position, they found Brad Jones too big an obstacle to beat. Well, that's three occasions now Brad Jones has uh, come to the rescue of his side. They're looking to play offside, and uh, Schimmicker wasn't. Uh, he played a delightful ball towards the far post. It's Russell Holt's view. Downing with a left foot of precision. Can he seal Middlesbrough's afternoon with a fourth goal? Good strike. Brilliant strike. That's what Stuart Downing's all about. And Middlesbrough have been West Bromwich Albion by four goals to nil. Oh, it's a fantastic strike. And uh, Brian Robson just pondering with uh, Nigel Pearce and his assistant. But you've got that sort of quality. And it's important, the pace and the direction. And Stuart Downing found that in abundance. And that was always going to be the corner that he was going to go for. And Russell Holt, he gets across to that side and he gets fairly close to it. You can see he might even just have got a touch to it. But because he's got that much pace on it, no way that he can keep that ball out. Very harsh on West Bromwich Albion, a perplexing afternoon for the Baggies. Steve McLaren seeing his side run out 4 0 winners. And it really is no reflection of the 90 minutes. Stuart Downing on the weekend that he could be named the PFA Young Player of the Year, sealing the victory with a fourth goal. And those West Bromwich Albion fans, a long trip back to sit and wonder what might happen in the last four games.